You know, there are a lot of good causes out there in the Bay Area, all vying for attention. And how do you make sure they don't get mixed up with each other? Well, one of the answers is going to come from our next guest, Paul Margolis, founder of Our Town SF. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You know, I, I love the title because my favorite play, which I've always thought was the greatest American play ever written, is Our Town, which talks about a typical day in a Midwestern American little village. What's the story that Our Town SF tells about our little town here? A friend of mine, both of us from the Midwest, yeah. decided that we wanted something homey to bring people together here in San Francisco. So we created Our Town. Now, OurTownSF.org is there to serve the nonprofit community specifically. Is this a full-time job for you? Are you able to support yourself with Our Town? No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a, labor this is of love. a labor of love, and I do it in my spare time. Right. So when you're not working to help the nonprofit community through this website, uh, what does Paul Margolis do? He goes to the gym, and he lives <laughs> life like most people do. Yeah, yeah, goes yeah. to restaurants, hangs out with buddies. No, I mean, but what, what, what do you do for a living? I don't. Oh, so you're just, you're, you're devoting yourself to the nonprofit community? Yes. Now, you've been in San Francisco since 1979. Yes. What have you seen as far as changes? I mean, it's a leading question. We all know assassination of Milk Moscone, which happened before you came here, the AIDS crisis, gentrification. Tell me a little bit about your perceptions of how San Francisco, and specifically the gay community, have changed from 1979 to 2014. I think we've come in full circle. When I arrived in 1979, we were a darn friendly group of people and we became less so because we were scared by the AIDS crisis mm -hmm. but it came full circle recently only in the last few years I think people are friendly and nice and really caring and that's I'm really glad to see that coming around mm -hmm. I remember during the worst of the AIDS years some of my lesbian friends said that for the first time they felt welcomed by gay men in the Castro because I remember when I came to the Castro in the mid 1980s it was very much only boys town there was one lesbian bar, which is now, of course, The Edge. But women and men didn't mix together a lot. And then when the AIDS epidemic started, you saw lesbians as caregivers for a lot of their, their gay men friends uh, that were, were sick and, and dying. So a little bit of that friendliness started then. What do you think has been the reason for this new friendliness, maybe, that you're calling? You know, I really don't have an answer to that. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm just glad to see it. Yeah. Maybe it's just that we're, we feel that the 1% is the other, and but we're part of the 99%, and maybe mm -hmm. the 99% is what's bringing us all together. Right, so you'd consider the, the gay community a big part of that 99%. I do. Now, OurTownSF.org, who does it serve and how does it serve? I believe that it serves the entire gay community in the Bay Area. If you're looking for an event, anything that's taking place in San Francisco that serves us, it's on the site, mm -hmm. including events such as National Bullying Day, uh, Harvey Milk's birthday, uh, candlelight marches, things that are anniversary type things and Folsom Street events and Dory Alley and mm -hmm. all those events are on the calendar as well as all the fundraising events that are put on by our brothers and sisters in the um, organizations that benefit us. Right now, you, I understand that the impetus for this came out of a specific day where there were three similar events going on close by and you heard that none of them could get an audience and you thought, boy, if they'd all known that just down the street they were doing something similar to this, maybe they wouldn't have done it. Tell me about that. There were three gay choruses on November 16th, all having events in different churches within just a few blocks from each other. And I said, this is really not right. We need to do something about notifying folks that these events are taking place, and please move your event off to the side. Make mm -hmm. it another day so that we don't, so that the same clients are not going to, the, to events for the same type of organizations. You'll see that happening in the AIDS organizations as well, where you might see an AIDS emergency fund and an AIDS foundation event on the same evening. Well, how do people choose which one they want to support? Right, right. And I don't want that people to have to make that choice. So is your website aimed to serve the consumer or the organization that is promoting these events, or, or both? Both. I actually have two different calendars that are available. One is for the general public, and one is specifically for the AIDS organizations, mm -hmm. because I think, to me, it just it's close to my heart. And because um, I'm now a part of Richmond Ermit AIDS Foundation, mm -hmm. I put together a second, second calendar of events that I send directly to them right. to make sure that their events don't aren't duplicated. Right. 
You know, a lot of people have said over the last couple of years, because I know it's been harder to raise money for aid service organizations, that, you know, the AIDS epidemic is over and they don't take it as seriously anymore. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel really sad because it certainly isn't over for many of us. Mm -hmm. There's an organization, for example, called Let's, Let's Kick Ass org, and it promotes people to who are suffering from what's left of the AIDS epidemic. Mm -hmm. And there's so much left. We feel so much guilt. We so, feel so mm -hmm. much uh, a vacuum in our life. Mm -hmm. And so Let's Kick Ass fills that void. But mm -hmm. that void is still there. And there's mm -hmm. still people out there who are dying from AIDS mm -hmm. and dying with AIDS. And it, it, it strikes down so many people in our community. And people are still being infected. We need to keep it at the forefront and, and people, keep people educated. So. OurTownSF.org will list organizations that are doing uh, fundraisers for AIDS, HIV, other community events. Is it only nonprofit events, or can someone pay to be on your site? No one can pay to be on my site. It's only nonprofit events. I don't accept any payments whatsoever. If you want to make a donation, the donation goes through Richmond Ermit and then comes uh -huh. to me, and it's only used for marketing purposes. Right. So. How, how do you manage to do this? I mean, you, 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 you're one of our community saints doing this. <laughs> It's just a labor of love. That's all there yeah. is to it. I, I sit down and I, I create it on a Word document, which I send to a web developer. And they aren't expensive. And I donated the money. Me and a lesbian friend of mine actually mm -hmm. donated the money to make this work and happen. And from here on, it's not very expensive. Right. It's a lot of time. But I put in an hour this morning. I'll put in an hour maybe later today. And right. It's not just a couple hours a day, and I can keep it uh, going. Right. In our last few seconds, tell me how important is social media to promoting your website? Do people find you through Facebook and, and whatnot, or do they just have to find the website? People are finding me through social media, but they're also finding me through posters and palm cards that I'm leaving out around the community's areas. I'm leaving them in places like AIDS Health Foundation and, and pharmacies and just all over the place. All, the little, all the little community places and stores that you'd find in a little town like San Francisco. Exactly. Well, thanks for being with us. Thank you. I've been speaking with Paul Margolis, founder and creator of OurTownSF.org. I'm David Perry. You've been watching 10%. I hope you'll tune in to Our Town next week.